Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Vishash. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ and the question is in front of you. The question is which molecule has maximum resonance energy? Four options are provided. I request you student please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box and obviously write few lines explaining your logic or reason for selection of a particular option. Now I believe you have tried so let's start. Now maximum resonance energy. So if you look at all these molecules little closely, unique properties are there. What do I mean? So if you look at this molecule, it's a very common. It's called cyclopentadiene. And other, this is pyrrole, this is thiophene, and this is fibrin. So apart from this cyclopentadiene, these three are called student heterocyclic aromatic compound 5 member. Now, if you look at resonance energy, if in this case cyclopentadiene, this carbon is actually sp3 hybridized. So, it doesn't have any p orbital. So, resonance is hampered to some extent. But you will think that, sir, this is a diene. So, diene resonance stabilization should be there. Yes, it's there. But remember, that is not that much. I shall give the proof after some time. Now, if you look at this option A, B, and C, all are heterocyclic aromatic compound because they contain at least one heteroatom except carbon and hydrogen. So, here this oxygen is heteroatom, here sulfur, and here nitrogen is a heteroatom. Now, uniqueness is that a nitrogen has one lone pair of electron, sulfur has two, and amount to any one, any particular one pair, same for oxygen, one pair, is involved in this aromaticity delocalization. What do I mean? If you recall the Huckel rule of aromaticity points were cyclic, compound must be cyclic, second compound must be planar, third compound must be conjugated means every atom should have a p orbital and fourth that it has 4n plus 2 number of pi electron for aromaticity and remember the word aromaticity means actually stability and if I say more details so this stability comes because of delocalization because we know delocalization means stabilization and this delocalization or resonance is very high for aromatic compound they are highly delocalized by the way you may have doubt that sir is it a this nitrogen's hybridization is sp3 or sp2 it is student sp2 why because if it is sp2 it has a p orbital so according to huckel rule it can have the aromaticity delocalization so this lone pair of this nitrogen is actually student in the p orbital okay and the nitrogen is sp2 hybridized now this is true for also in this way delocalization happens so all enjoy aromatic stability but everyone doesn't enjoy similar resonance stabilization question how and why let's draw one canonical form of any particular heterocyclic aromatic compound i mean here the lone pair is there so this lone pair will be given here and it will open up. By the way student, I always request you please do a structure drawing practice. It is essential to remember chemistry efficiently. Now next canonical form, it can push and it can open. So these are actually the canonical forms of this heterocyclic aromatic nucleus. Now if you look at, this is common for all. But actually your answer will be resonance energy of thiophene is very high. Proof is that, see here, resonance energy is 29. I shall give more explanation. Question why? Because if you take sulfur at this position, this sulfur we know has vacant d orbital. So what this 3D does, the scene this 3D is vacant, so it can participate. Ah, Conjugation, what do I mean? So you can expect, sir, p orbital carrying two electron. I mean, it's a negative charge, this, and d orbital is vacant, this way. Obviously, I should give uh, symmetry. So this, so symmetry matches, so that's why overlap happened. And this is, you can consider student back bonding. Back bonding means carbon is donating its electron density to the vacant 3D orbital. Now donation means delocalization means stabilization because in this resonance there is a charge separation 
and remember charge separation is always associated with some unstabilization but because of this conjugation the extent of unstabilization is reduced which means stabilization improvised and that is only possible for the example of sulfur because sulfur only has 3d means it's actually a third row element but if you look at nitrogen and oxygen no 2d orbital exists so such kind of stabilization not possible so although sulfur is left relatively lesser electronegative compared to oxygen or this nitrogen but still it can stabilize the negative charge more efficiently this is point number one there is another minor point that is size of sulfur because if you look at five member ring student five member ring always associated with some ring strength the heteroatom is little bigger in size so this ring strength is reduced to some extent which is responsible for little more stabilization so here if you look at the resonance energy i should write the more accurate resonance stabilization energy of this uh, thiophene sulfur analog is 29 oxygen same group oxygen sulfur belongs to same group group 16 but it's 16 so almost you can say this is a double so why because of higher size and second thing the participation in vacant d orbital and in case of pyrrole you can see some intermediate value and sometime before i told dying resonance is not that much see here the energy 3 kilocalorie per mole so dye in has a delocalization but that doesn't go closer to aromaticity aromaticity means extremely high delocalization or resonance so that means stabilization is also higher so here what is the answer answer is option b student this information i suggest you remember with respect to hooker rule and aromaticity so it's a very interesting point i this is the end of the discussion i believe this video may be useful thanks for watching see you in the next video Bye-bye.